Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. Now let's go ahead and let's design uh, employee form. Let's go back to the VS Code and let's go to the employee create employee component. And here we are going to design a employee form. Let's delete this. Let's create a div and let's add a CSS like container within a div. Let's create a one more div and let's add a CSS like a row within a div. Let's add one more div and let's add some CSS. So look at here the form. So we should now you know align the form at the center of the page okay and we have to add a card here card means uh, the you know border to this form so to achieve this we are going to add these css bootstrap css classes okay great after that we need to add this text right this this uh, page title that is add employee for that let me add a s3 tag here so this should be a uh, text should be aligned at a center and after that let's add a card, card body let's create a div okay and inside this div let's create a form and let's inside a form let's go ahead and let's create a input fields okay great so look at here we have first name last name and employee so these are the input fields we are going to create in a form let's create a div and then let's add a CSS class like form group And after that, let's add a label. Let's say first name. And then input field. So look at here the input field. We have added placeholder, that is first name. And name. And then class. This is the bootstrap CSS class. And the value we have a state inside a component right so we have to create attributes here properties for this state like first name last name and email id so go to the state and let's create a first name and let's initialize empty and also create a last name let's say name property initialize to empty and let's go ahead and let's also create email id property and let's initialize to empty all right guys now these basically properties will help us to get the form data and this data will be available in a form submission all right got it so we have to add this property to the state and the input field uh, we get a data from the input field inside these properties and this properties data will be available while form submission so try to understand the flow so inside state we create a fields or properties and these properties we use to store the input form data input field form data and these properties will available in a form submission all right guys so look at here at the very first time the first name is empty so you can able to see a empty uh, input text field and once we enter something in a input text field then this event handler will get called let me quickly create this event handler here let me capture the event here all right so this is the event and uh, from the event we can get a value like event dot target dot value and we can assign this value to the first name 
so look at here the flow inside the state we have defined a properties called post name and it is empty and here inside the input field we have a value and we have here uh, added a first name and at the very first time the first name is empty and as soon as we enter something in a text field then this you know event handler will get called and we have add uh, will extract a value from this input field from the event and we use set state method to add the value to the first name and now we can able to see the value of the first name inside the input text field so this is the flow okay got it now similarly uh, let's go ahead and let's create an input field for last name and email let me copy and paste here and let's change this accordingly last name and here placeholder as last name and this is the last name change last name handler and this is the last name all right great now let's create a event handler for change last name handler let me just copy this and paste here and just change from post name to last name all right guys so one more important thing is we need to bind this event handler in a constructor go to the constructor within constructor just type this and then let's use bind method to bind this event handler to the component bind and pass this reference similarly let's create let's also bind a handler method that is change post name handler method and they pass this reference alright guys now let's go back to the form and let's copy this and let's also add one more field called email address let's change placeholder from last name to email address and also label email address alright and also name from last name to email id let's change this handler method that is change event handler let me change this label let's say email id after that let's go ahead and let's implement this change email handler over here let me copy the existing method let's paste here and let's copy the name of the change uh, email handler over here and just change email id that's it guys now once we have created first name last name email id input fields now it's time to create a submit button submit and cancel button it's pretty simple go to the form and here let me add two buttons so look at here this is the button to save the employee data all right and this is the cancel button and here we have added a event handler so whenever uh, we click on save button then this event handler will this event handler will get called let's go ahead and let's bind this event handler in a constructor you can directly bind this event handler here also for example look at here for cancel method i have just added uh, you know a bind method here so you can use this approach or you can also uh, in a constructor you can also bind this event handler in a constructor so this is the recommended way and this is a, a recommended by a react team and if you you can see this approach in a react documentation as well bind and then pass this all right guys let me create a save employee method here and just 
call prevent default after that so we have defined a properties right inside a state so once we enter something in these fields then properties will get updated uh, the data using set property set state method here and now now the first name last name email id so this property has a data so let's get data from these properties while form submission so here uh, save employee method right so this method will get called whenever we uh, hit the save button or whenever we submit the form so let's go ahead and let's get the data from this property here inside a save, save employee method let me quickly create a employee javascript object and let me add a data to the object for example look at here this is employee javascript object and in this first name i have you know uh, retrieved a first name from the state last name from the state email id from the state and i just you know uh, added console.log over here so that we can able to see the form data in a console all right guys we have almost completed add employee form and the event handle event handling for input fields and form submission all right now let's save the form and let's go back to the browser and let's see if there are any errors or so before that let me check uh, if anything missing over here so we have added a uh, change first name handler and uh, we have you know we have just bind that uh, event handler in a constructor and similarly for change last name handler we have also uh, we have bind this event handler in a constructor and let me change the name over here okay and let me check if anything missing all right we are good uh, one more thing is this is cancel method right so we haven't created cancel method over here so let me create cancel method and then once we click on cancel button this should navigate to the employee list page right and let me just copy the routing url go to the list employee component and let me copy this all right so here let me change the path url like employees so whenever we click on cancel button this should navigate to the slash employee uh, you know url and so list employee component will get rendered on this url all right guys let me save the file and let me go back to the browser and let us see if there are any errors no errors all right let me just refresh yeah here we go we have successfully added add employee page to our employee management application let me hit cancel button yeah we are able to go to the, go to the employees list page all right now what we'll do we'll fill up the details and we'll able to see the data is available while form submission okay great enter first name as Ramesh last name is Fortari email address as oops here we automatically get a last name uh, in our email field right so let me go back to the VS code and let me change yeah here basically it is email ID let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and let's just refresh and let's again enter first name Ramesh last name for the email address as Ramesh at the red gmail.com hit save and let us see yeah here we go we have successfully got first name last name email id data from the state of the object and we have printed the employee form data on a console all right guys we have successfully created a form and we have successfully got the data of the form while form submission in next video we'll cre create the rest client which we we'll call a rest api and we we'll submit this form in a database 
we just call a REST API and we send this form data to the REST API and REST API will internally store the data in MySQL database. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video.